guys, Julie here, and I am with Mr. Coda, and we're going to be doing some nail Dremel desensitization. This little guy gave his owner a really hard time doing his nails to the point where she could not do them at all. So, <clears throat> what we're doing is showing him it doesn't hurt, because all the dogs don't want their nails done because they think it's going to hurt. But you can't show them because they won't let you. So we're using a recall to get him to us, a down, and then I maneuver him onto his side, which is the position that I'll use to do his nails. I'm not gonna do a full Dremel right now. What I'm gonna do is just gently touch each nail with the Dremel on, showing him there's nothing to be scared of. I have my e-collar in case he decides to make it impossible, get up and run away, use his teeth, and he knows that, and that's what keeps him nice and calm. So we'll always start with the back paws. You want to anchor it down to the ground. That way you're not in the air and it's not all like really awkward. Good. We're just going to lightly do each nail. Beautiful. Do this five minutes every day, a couple times a day, and this will be nothing for him. Good job. Wow. So your goal for these early sessions isn't like a full nail channel, it's more keep it comfortable for them so that they can remember, oh my gosh, that actually doesn't hurt at all. I don't know why I ever freaked out.
show him, like, hey, there was never anything to be scared of. This doesn't even hurt. Beautiful job, buddy. Beautiful. a little bit harder. That's why I like this position because I have my elbow over his neck and my um, other elbow anchored down. Good. Beautiful. No. Another rule is he can't just get up when the drummer turns off because I might not be finished. So we're, he's gonna learn to stay like this until I release him. Break. Good boy. 